Hey mermaids, if you like what you hear, please subscribe. It will encourage me to create more content for you. And also check out my Instagram and Reddit. Well, someone's home late. Oh, sorry. Did I startle you? Come here, baby. Let me help you. Ah, uh, Baby, can you explain to me what's that on your neck? Come on, baby. Tell me. It's fine, baby. You can tell me. Aren't you gonna tell me? Fine. Even if you don't tell me, I know the answer anyways. You know what, baby? I have been holding back whenever I'm with you. But now, I don't think I can. Did you enjoy your party at the club today? Oh, yes. You heard me. Are you yes just for show, huh? Well... I guess they are because you didn't even bother answering my fucking question. What? How did I know that you were at the club today? Isn't the answer fucking obvious? I followed you. I mean, why shouldn't I? You were quite suspicious earlier in the morning. You clearly told me you were going overtime today so that I won't wait for you later. And at that point, I knew you weren't going over time. Why? Because I know your work schedule and when you have over time. Did you think that I would fall for that measly lie? You think I'm dumb, huh? Look at me. I said look at me. Ah... Now that I'm looking at you this close, you are so beautiful when your eyes are filled with fear. <laughs> Why didn't I know this sooner? I shouldn't have held back. Oh, baby, are you crying? You knew this was coming and you did this to yourself. I gave you warnings already, didn't I? What warnings? Well, didn't I text you to come home soon and called you multiple times? Brave of you that you didn't answer even a single call I made. And the other one. <laughs> you know your friend Erika. She came up to you and dragged you off the platform, didn't she? I know she told you to hurry up and go home. You know why? Because I told her to. Hmm? I was watching you from Abosili. I saw how you dressed up. God, you looked so enticing, charming and sexy. I wished I could just grab you and take you home so I can just have you all to myself. But you were having a fun time, so I left you there. Everything was fine until one person approached you. I thought that you were just gonna shoo them away. But little did I know, you... You... Fuck! <sighs> uh, thinking about it again? Did you dress up for me or for them? So that every other person just gonna come chasing after you? Partying and drinking, acting all innocent and careless? When in reality, you planned everything out, didn't you? You planned how you gonna dress up, how your hair looks, just so you can have some extra person on the side? And that one person that approached you while you were dancing on the platform? Then they invited you for a drink and you mindlessly accepted their offer. Didn't you notice that they were literally high-fucking you the whole time? 
Come on, baby, you are smart enough, aren't you? Use that teeny tiny brain of yours and know when someone is eyeing you like prey. You should know by now, right? With how much you fucking try, baiting person to come on to you. You should be a fro at it, right? Huh. Baby, can't you think about what I feel for once? How I feel watching you seduce other person, how it feels to be betrayed like that? It hurts, sweetie. It really, really fucking hurts. And you are gonna know exactly just how bad it feels. Hi, Mike. Sorry for bothering you at this time. I'm not bothering you. <laughs> well, I was wondering, are you perhaps free tonight? Yeah, I know it's kind of late too. Something going on? Um, no, not really. And did I mention earlier you looked so fucking hot today? So can I... What are you doing? Can't you see that I'm on the phone with Mike? <laughs> what? Cheating? I haven't even started it and you call that cheating? And speak for yourself. What you did today? That was cheating. I would rather just see someone who would love all of me and won't fucking cheat on me. <laughs> ah, the faces they made today were quite exquisite. When they were tearing up, I lost myself. Good thing I held back a little. Things would have gone bad if my sanity wasn't intact. Let's just leave things as it is and see what they will do. If things don't go as planned, time for Plan B, I guess. Now, where did this person go? <gasps> what are you doing? Let go of me. What did you say? Can you repeat that one more time? <laughs> you will do anything I want? Aww, baby, you should take responsibility on what you said. No take backs, okay? Hmm, let me wipe those tears for you. Oh, baby, were you up all night? Your eyes look so small from all that crying and I can see bags from your eyes. And you haven't changed clothes too. Oh, come here, baby. Shh, baby. I'm not gonna leave you. I'm the only person you need, right? That's good, my love. Now go take a bath, baby. So you can freshen up. Hmm? <laughs> Yes, baby. I'm not going anywhere. See you later. Now, where is their phone? So they try to contact them. Well, they won't be able to reach them anymore. Now, let's clean up and cook them breakfast. Ah, today's a good day. Thank you.